Erev Tov Chavri, I'm Stephen Bernoun. You're watching Israeli News Live. A 6.2 magnitude earthquake has struck uh, just off of Shanshu Island in Japan. Uh, there has been no reports of tsunamis thus far. RT News is the one that has first broke this story here that I caught it on anyway. Uh, but anyway, they are saying it struck at 9.43 p.m. this evening. Uh, and, and, of course, there is was some concerns there because it is relatively close to Fukushima uh, where the, uh, you know, their nuclear plant there. So there is a bit of concern regarding that. Another thing I want to share with you guys, and that is a, a story that we covered here recently on Twitter um, about... Uh, um, a, a group of buses uh, that have been photographed by Eric Tucker and uh, Eric uh, has since uh, wrote a an article about it because he, he as well as others have caught a lot of flack uh, about the uh, the pictures that he took there uh, claiming that, uh, that these pictures here are, are not actually of a um, hang on one second here we'll get you to the right page here but anyway, claiming that the pictures that are in there uh, are not actually, uh, were not used for the protest there in Austin, Texas. Now, just to share with you that picture there, you can see it here on your screen right here. And we actually covered this because we caught it from, uh, from Paul Watson of InfoWars. And uh, Paul had also carried this showing that it was buses that were carrying protesters to a protest rally there in Austin, Texas. Now, later I did ask Eric if he actually saw the people getting in or out of the buses, and he was honest about it. He said, no, he did not. And, uh, and then I got a tweet from a man named Will, and I uh, just won't go into the whole name on there, but he actually tweeted to me saying that this, these buses were actually being used for what is called a tableau conference. Um, and I may be pronouncing that name wrong. I'm thinking more of a French name here. Tableau, by the way, you can look here. I actually sent a question out to them. Tableau is a software company that was hosting a big uh, convention there at the same time that the protests were going on in Austin, Texas as well. And having nothing to do with the protests, at least what's being reported, I did tweet out to Tableau and asked if they could confirm whether or not, in fact, they had charted chartered over a dozen buses, uh, you know, like a Greyhound bus or, you know, the big charter buses that seat 50 people per bus. Uh, I did not get a response as of yet. At least I have not found a response from uh, Tableau on my question. But Will was stating that a friend of his, I did first, first he just makes it, says on there that uh, Tableau uh, was the one that chartered the buses. So I asked Will if he was a part of this conference. He said no, it was a friend of his. But I still could not get a confirmation for a fact that Tableau had indeed chartered the buses. Uh, he did refer me to go to, on their website uh, to the section there about their traveling events. I do see in there where they speak about uh, buses to and from the hotels and as well as taxis, etc. It seems to imply more though not as a chartered bus but as maybe like the city bus system that they have there. But again, maybe Tableau really did do that and I wanted to correct that on our end here to say that yes, maybe Tableau actually did indeed uh, charter these buses. Now, let me go back though to Eric. Eric also posted later, I strongly value the truth. There's a pretty good case uh, those buses were for a conference by Tableau. Uh, and this is what he put on there. Also to Fox 7 uh, in Austin, Fox also had uh, implied that it had gone kind of, you know, pretty much viral, I guess, on social media that these buses were used for uh, the actual um, uh, busing people in for the protest. Now, then I got a little bit curious because I didn't get Tableau to actually respond to me. And I also began to wonder with no one being able to say for sure that Tableau actually did indeed charter these buses. I looked at the names on the buses, etc. And, uh, and, you know, and couldn't really get an answer there. But then I got to thinking to myself, all right, if Tableau actually were the ones that chartered the buses and Soros is been, you know, accused of being very much involved in uh, funding protests throughout America, is there any connection between Tableau and George Soros? Well, oddly enough, there is. Uh, you have several different websites on there, figures anti-protesters, -pro well, this is another one here, figures anti-Trump protesters were bused into Austin, 
uh, fake protest as uh, another article that was being shown there. Again, they were using Eric's photos there. But let me just show to you the one that I found, though, that kind of made me a little, still a little bit iffy on this whole issue. Sorrows gains with Tableau, but takes a dive with uh, 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 Actuate. George Soros is actually an investor in the very company where this convention is going on at there in Austin, Texas. Now he's not, you know, he doesn't own a like a huge percentage of the stocks in the company, but he still owns a fairly good share of these stocks here. I believe it's almost 1% or, or half of 1%. I forget exactly what it is. But as you can see here, uh, he does have a pretty hefty investment in the company there. Yes, a little 0.04% uh, allocation of the company has gained over 30% since investing. Um, wow, does that mean he gained 30% more of the company itself? I don't know. But nonetheless, I just thought it was kind of odd. George Soros, who's been clearly uh, uh, accused by uh, many, saying that they have the, the facts showing that he has been involved in the different... Uh, riots and protests that are going on throughout the country is also involved with Tableau, the very software uh, company there, having a conference in Austin. Now, Will did text one thing, too, that I thought was a little bit odd when he said that the buses were being used for a quote-unquote night out. Where in the world are all these buses taking these people for a night out at? Could it be the protest itself? Well, I don't really know. So because we can't say yay or nay one way or the other, I will stand corrected. It could be that the buses were used by the Tableau Group. It could be that they were chartered by them to get them back and forth to their hotels. But Will did say they were chartered for a night out. That was from his friend that was attending the conference. But no one seems to tell us where the night out actually was. And of course, George Soros is a heavy investor in this particular company. Interesting. Who knows? I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom.